closing that, his opening his closing remarks. Let's take you live there now. The issues they raise. Um, it was correct for them to raise such issues as they thought were important. Wrong though they were, they were. but nevertheless it's okay. <laughs> But comrades, let me, let me say that we are very, very, very pleased indeed that uh, uh, the IPC invited us to come here to engage with you. Because uh, looking at the distance here at the Western Cape, we could see that uh, we knew there's a, there's a problem that's facing the movement. Very, very glad indeed that uh, the IPC gave us an opportunity to sit for two days to interact so that we, we ourselves uh, should uh, remove from our own heads our own conclusions about this, but listen to yourselves to say what are the correct conclusions about the province. So I'm very, very glad indeed that uh, between yesterday and today, you were able to speak in the manner that you spoke. Uh, about the challenges of the province and uh, where we need to go in the province. This, the statement as read now by Comrade Lerumo, I think captures uh, in that kind of global sense where the meeting is going with regard to these challenges. Uh, I'd like to repeat what, uh, what I said yesterday, that we, we didn't come here to, uh, to delegate tasks to you so that we can then say today we have managed to delegate the tasks to the comrades in the Western Cape. We are now leaving, going to go back wherever we come from. Uh, but that we, we had come here because we think there's an important challenge to be addressed. And we want to say, we want to, to remain with you. Let this, it's a common challenge, it's not a Western Cape challenge. It's a challenge that's common to all of us so that we need to, to work together to see the solutions we are fighting for, the things that Comrade Lerumo was talking about. So definitely we are, we, are, we are not there for visiting the Western Cape now, and then you will see us in five years' time, no. Uh, we are really with you because of the importance of, this, of these tasks. You remember, comrades, that earlier this, this morning, one of the questions, one of the comrades posed the questions. It, it, it was not, it was not a, a rhetorical question. And she was saying, uh, what is our mission? As a movement, she used that word, what is our mission? Very, very correct question, because I think at all times the ANC needs to ask itself that question. And I think one of the comrades was also very correct in referring to these uh, two chapters of the ANC Constitution, chapters two and three, <coughs> because they help to answer exactly that question. But even in a, in a, in a broad sense, comrades, do. Uh, even the national constitution. National constitution is a national contract negotiated in the way that it was negotiated and we as South Africans say this is the South Africa we visualize. That statement would never have been made if the ANC didn't agree with it. So. Even what is said in the national constitution becomes our task. And in the national constitution says, uh, we must redress the challenges of the past, build a democratic and non-racial South Africa. It's a statement, comrades, about a very, a very important strategic task. The ANC had taken those responsibilities before the Constitution was, was drafted, and that was its own input into the making of that Constitution. 
It's an undertaking about the eradication of the legacy of colonialism and apartheid. It's relatively easy to make a statement like that. The eradication of the legacy of colonialism and apartheid. It's when you look at, the que at that question, okay, all right, we agree we must eradicate this legacy. Then you look at all elements of society to say, well, what do we do with regard to whatever to achieve that objective of the eradication? Then you understand the, the enormous challenges and difficulties we face in terms of achieving that eradication in order to create that non-racial and non-sexist South Africa. That's, that's our mission. Not, not ANC in the Western Cape, ANC throughout the country. So I think it is very, very legitimate for our comrades, for yourselves here in the Western Cape, to say, are we fit for the job? Do we have the strength, the capacity, the everything else to discharge that responsibility of the er eradication of that legacy? Um, even the, the thinking comrades, the visualization, the conceptualization of the actions that need to be taken. Um, if we say we must eradicate the legacy of uh, colonialism apartheid with regard to education, what does that mean? We know, for instance, that uh, uh, university students have been saying this for some years now, uh, quite correctly that one of the things that we must do, we must de decolonize the curricula, university curricula. But when you sit with some of them to say, all right, we agree with that, let's decolonize this curricula. But now let's sit down and discuss how is it to be done. Then there are problems, there are challenges. Um, let's decolonize the teaching of mathematics. I, I agree entirely, we must do it. But if you ask me, well, it, therefore practically what do we do? I wouldn't be able to answer that question. But I'm saying, I'm just giving comrades as an example to say, even the capacity to think what is it that we need to do in order to succeed in this task of the eradication of this legacy? It's not, an, it's not a challenge you can ask her by shouting slogans. But this is, I think, one of the rich things that happened here during these two days that as comrades who were grappling exactly with that kind of question. Even this question that Comrade Lerumo is talking about, the renewal. We need the renewal of the ANC. It's a decision of the National Conference of the ANC, the last one, 54th, and everybody feels bound, of course, naturally, because the conference decision, it must be implemented. But we, we've tried here to say, okay, uh, what is it we, in, here in the Western Cape, what do we do? What, what does renewal mean? What is the next step? And Comrade Chair, I didn't hear anybody saying that uh, Therefore, Comrade Tabo must become the chairperson of the ANC in the province. Would that be the new one? I doubt it. 
But I'm saying that we were grappling with those sorts of questions, comrade, and I think that's, that's very, very important. Of course, we are the ANC in the Western Cape. I'm saying, of course, there are national tasks which affect the whole of the ANC, wherever it is. But this region, this province, has got its own specific challenges. So we can't answer all of these questions in general, let me say. We can in general, but we must also be in particular. And that's what we've been talking about. Even the questions of uh, raised correctly, insistently by comrades, that one of the problems here is factionalism. The identification of the problem, I think, means a commitment to address it. And necessarily it means the understanding, having a very clear idea as to what are we being factional about? What's the basis of the factions? But I'm saying the very fact that we identify this is a problem, it has to be addressed. Uh, a comrade earlier today said we must make the factions irrelevant. So we've set ourselves a task like that. Part of the process of the renewal of the ANC in this province in order to make it an effective participant in the struggle for the eradication of this legacy, among other things. It's, it's, it's very, very, very important, comrades, because part of that legacy, for instance, a part of that legacy is that even if you look at the, the nature of the South African economy, the way it's performed and all of that, it also, that economy, is affected exactly by that challenge of that legacy. And the outcome of it is not philosophical. The outcome of that is millions of people unemployed, millions of people poor, millions of people who are hungry, uh, so the matter of addressing that legacy on the economy, I'm saying it's not a philosophical matter. It's a very practical matter and has to be dealt with. That's not a provincial issue, that's a national matter. I know of some of the provinces of the ANC that are saying, yes indeed, that's a national matter, but we can make some interventions in our province to assist in that process. But those are people, uh, comrades who are in, in, in the provincial government. So in a sense, therefore, comrade, I'm saying that the task we've set ourselves as part of this process of renewal is to strengthen the ANC so that practically, it is in the Western Cape, practically it can play this role actually to achieve, to help us to achieve the changes that are required. It's, it's clear, I think, that we are going to have uh, to have another engagement among ourselves. Because to come back to that matter where I was saying that part of the task that we've been striving to do over these last two days is to think practically about our future. <clears throat> so there are many things I think we've got to understand uh, or agree with one another about. So I'm saying that part of our return, I think we should set aside community rumor, time for a political discussion on issues, <laughs> uh, concepts, issues, uh, positions, and uh, what did the consultative conference in Morogoro say in 1969? Or what relevance is what was said there? What is relevance today? <clears throat> that kind of discussion. 
uh, that has to be part of the continuing engagement among ourselves, precisely to help to empower, to empower us to be able to think very precisely, very correctly about practically what is to be done to achieve the objectives we set ourselves. That, that discussion is, is, is very important and I think it will be part of the process of making, as was suggested, of making these factions irrelevant. And by making them irrelevant, we're empowering ourselves to be this agent of change. Uh, so, comrades, uh, thanks a lot for, for coming. Uh, occasionally, I was whispering with Comrade Liruma because we were sitting next to each other there, asking them about some of the people who were absent. So I was saying, where is this one? Where is that? Because I, I know a little bit about this province and a little bit about the, the comrades here. So I look around, I don't see them. Uh, that in itself, I think, is a challenge. It means, it seems to me that they, they must have some of them a grievance that they would stay away from here. We'll, we'll, we'll find them, we'll help, let's all of us work, to, we'll find them. Uh, they're good comrades, as far as I know, to come back to help us, all of us, to carry this task, which is very big. But otherwise, Comrade, thanks, thanks a lot, and thanks for all your contributions. Uh, so from our point of view, we are not closing the meeting. We are adjourning. Thanks a lot, Comrades.